Hey guys, this is Noam again with uh, the 2D data recording uh, analyzer software at uh, Chuckwalla Valley Raceway uh, in California, uh, going clockwise with uh, my own lap uh, versus a World Superbike Rider lap here. And uh, hopefully you guys saw the other videos. Uh, the first one was about um, just how much time we spend on the side of the tire at a given lap and what that means. And the second one was about roll speeds, uh, the minimum speeds through each corner. And uh, this video is kind of to complement the roll speed video. So make sure you watch that first uh, so that way you can understand it. This one is actually to pinpoint a few discrepancies uh, in the data. It's not like the, there's something wrong with the data, but it's more about maybe you guys have noticed that something is not really adding up here in the right way. And I'll give you guys a little bit of a head start, maybe a little hint, but generally speaking, uh, from the last video, we mentioned, hey, higher roll speeds are better, and what creates higher roll speeds? M more lean angle for more time, uh, but especially more lean angle, and, and that's that's really important to understand with motorcycles. Um, I wanna, I I'll eventually do like probably a 30-minute video, just math, you know, boring, like hang yourself, self set yourself on fire, math about lean angles versus speed versus radius and how those three variables correlate to each other and there is no separation between them for example um you know if you have a radius of let's say 500 feet at uh 100 miles an hour that would result in let's say 47 degree lean angle and uh there is no other lean angle for that radius and speed. There is no, no matter what bike you're on, uh, no matter if you're on a bicycle, uh, no matter if you're on a snowboard, uh, no matter if you're on ice skates, and even an airplane above you, um, at 500 feet radius, 100 miles an hour, it will bank at 47 degree, period. There is, this is math, it's not philosophical. Um, you guys can, comment and argue about it right now if you want to uh, but when we get into the math um, or you could check with like your local high school physics teacher and he can confirm it it's it's just not philosophical uh, even though we might think it is but anyway so here's the problem here um, like we said before um, up here we have our speeds GPS miles an hour and down here we have the lean angles okay and down here I'm gonna get to a little bit later okay this is a math channel that I created uh, I hope it'll blow your mind but it's really cool but here is the big problem okay higher speeds okay for a given corner okay if we want to go faster we have to lean further okay so for example for uh, turn three over here uh, if we want to, uh, right now, uh, the World Superbike Rider is carving it at uh, 73 miles an hour, and he's leaning 49. I'm carving it at 69 miles an hour, uh, leaning to 46 degrees lean, okay? If I wanted to have his roll speed of 73 miles an hour, I would have to lean to 49. With math, we can also say what lean angle do I need to obtain in order to carve this corner at 80 miles an hour? What lean angle would I have if I wanted to carve this corner at a minimum speed of 60 miles an hour? What what lean angle would I need to have to carve this corner at 500 miles an hour? You know, there's actually a lean angle for that, you know? Believe it or not, there is a real lean angle and it's always under 90. Uh, those math geeks will laugh at that one uh, because you'll know what I'm talking about. A uh, little bit of trigonometry. But anyway, so here's the problem. Okay. We're noticing most of the time, like turn three over here, he goes faster. He has more lean. All makes sense, right? Want to go faster in the corner? Lean it over more. Okay. That all makes sense. But here's our problem. Right there. What is happening? How could this be? I would be very impressed if some of you, some of you noticed this. Okay, I'm in the blue, he's in the red, 
he has better roll speed through the corner. He's rolling here, his minimum speed, he's rolling here at around uh, 76.7 miles an hour, and I'm there at 71 miles an hour. I'm going about 5 miles an hour slower. And he's at 51 degree, 52 degree lean angle, and I'm at, I'm at almost 55. So, well, what, what's going on here? I am leaning more, and I'm going slower. What could be different? My line. That's what's different. It's just flat out, it's my radius. My radius is different, and if it wasn't, if it was exactly identical to him, if my radius was the same as his, the fact that I'm leaning more would mean that I would have a higher roll speed than him. It's math, not philosophy. It's just pure physics. I don't even need to look at anything else to know that my line is not ideal there. Something is wrong. I somehow did not create as as a wide radius as he did in, in there. And of course, with this software, uh, and even with the AIM software uh, that, that a lot of you guys may use, um, you, could, you could do some map overlay. So let's go ahead and do that. Why not? And we'll see exactly why is my line bad. Let me zoom out so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. So uh, this is Chakwala. It's kind of backwards because we got north pointing up, which is the proper way. But it's not the way we usually look at Chakwala. But I'm going to zoom in now that you understand that this is the back straight. And this is turn 11, 12, and then into the bowl. But now I'm going to start zooming in to that discrepancy in the data. And here it is right here. Okay? I carry higher lean angle than him. Okay? I am better, theoretically. It also, that's kind of a joke, but theoretically also, it also demonstrates that the bike and the tires are capable of a higher lean angle because I did not fall. I did not crash. It was capable of 54.9 degree lean angle, which is, which is exactly what I'm achieving right now. So only if he could have done 54.9 degree lean angle on the right line, his roll speed may have been, you know, not 77 miles an hour, the minimum speeds in that corner in turn 12. It may have been 83, 84, 85, and again, there is a way to calculate all that if we want to. But uh, for his defense, I don't think I need to defend him. He was not trying. I think this was kind of just a Sunday cruise. Uh, so let's zoom in and look at what's happened with the line. So this is kind of the, uh, if you're really serious in data acquisition, you would never need to look at a map uh, like this, but we could see exactly what's going on. I totally blew the apex. Again, I'm the uh, blue dot, he's the red dot, and which is exactly why I carried a whole lot of lean and I had a much tighter, smaller radius than him. And basically that is why I have more lean angle than him, but less speed. So more risk, less speed. Uh, but at least I was able to demonstrate that, that in this particular corner, which is highly cambered if you ever walked this track, uh, we can achieve without crashing, at least I know that because I didn't, 54 point, almost 55 degree lean angle. I think I've done more in this corner before uh, and I haven't felt any tires squirming. Not that I would know what that felt like. Uh, anyway, so totally miss apex i hope you guys understand that so basically he created a, a wider radius a bigger radius so he didn't have to have as much lean angle if i was going to actually criticize this rider which i can't because again he was not riding his own bike and he's just kind of having fun tooling around but if he was actually trying i would tell him you could do more lean over there you could lean to f we know you could lean to 55 degrees lean angle because I did and I didn't crash. Now, if if he was able to do that on the proper line with that big radius, he would have maybe had a minimum uh, corner speed. Instead of 75, 76, he would have had a minimum corner speed of like 85. Who knows? But we could we can actually calculate that. But that's not how we do it more in a professional way. In a professional way, we can actually just create a math channel with radius. And that's what I have down here, the radius. Um, and you could see that it 
top, like between here and here, like in this section, it just tops out because it's it's a straightaway. That's actually the back straight, and the radius on a straightaway is infinite. You know, so I don't even bother to show any radiuses that are you know that are bigger than a thousand feet. You know, so so that's kind of how I set up the mass channel right there. But if we zoom into um, to that turn 12, we could see that his uh, minimum radius is 354 feet because he hit the apex correctly and we went from the, you know, just classic line, outside, inside, out. You know, you start from the outside, you go inside, and then you go back to the outside, uh, which, which what it does um, is makes the radius bigger. So for him, the radius that he that he created for himself was 354 feet, and the radius that I created for myself, let's go to it, was 292 feet. So I created a smaller radius, which means I had to carve a tighter arc, which means to keep the same speed, I needed to make more lean angle. So, and it was... I didn't need to because the map also showed that I just blew the apex by, you know, what looks like a mile. But in reality, it was probably about six, seven feet right there. And we have one more instance of this happening here on the track, which is, uh, look at this, turn nine. Hmm, I lean more. I should go faster. But even without looking at the map, we could say, okay, I leaned two. 45 degrees lean angle, he leaned to 44.6. I'm exactly at 45.2, he's at 44.6. Therefore, if our radius was exactly the same, I should have a, a higher roll speed and I should be beating him, but it wasn't the case. I screwed up on the line or his decision was better. In this case, I did not miss the apex, he just had a better decision of what to do with that turn and let's look at the radius i created myself a minimum radius of 150 feet and he created himself a minimum radius of 203 feet so i made it tighter let's look at the map and see what that looks like i'm gonna zoom out for you guys and here's turn eight and turn nine and that's the one in question and let's go ahead and zoom into it and let's see what he did. Um, in some way, I could say that I actually hit the apex better than him. I'm closer to it. But look what he decided to do after it. He, he, he didn't keep pinching it. He actually, from, from here, oops, sorry, from here to here, he created a wide radius, which allowed him to have more mile an hour mid-corner. Okay, he decided to, to not keep pinching that corner to the left, to the left, to the left. He just created a, a, a wider radius. And if he was willing to lean a degree more, which I have proven for him that the bike will not fall at 45.2. If he chose to take that line at his measly, um, you know, 44.6 lean angle, you know, so I'm more brave in this scenario. And of course, you guys, I know I'm being super sarcastic right now, right? Uh, but if he was willing to lean further, because I proved that we can, on his line, on his better line, his roll speed would have been even higher, okay? So that's interesting all by itself. So I hope that you guys can uh, maybe at least appreciate, like, some of these ideas about how we could look at... Uh, at radius and and pinpoint some of these ideas about hmm roll speed versus lean angle well i have more lean angle here i should have more roll speed yes i should unless there is a line mistake unless there is a mistake in my writing like i screwed up or a mistake in my decision on the line uh and what should be better in in this case in this video turn turn 12 ended up being a line mistake where I missed the apex and created myself a tight radius. And in turn nine, I have demonstrated that um, it, was, it was a poor line decision in turn nine alone, but that's only if we zoom into turn nine by itself. We could 
create a situation there could be a situation where we might actually want to take a small radius in turn nine sacrifice a few miles an hour um, in order to open up turn 10 to become a higher radius uh, to maximize uh, the the speed on the back straight which is for you guys on leader bikes it's probably would make a lot more sense to you guys um, and of course for us guys on 600s uh, going up that hill it's like the 600 doesn't feel like a 600 it feels like a negative 600 anyway enough jokes again uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video Thanks.